What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be going over how to install Java SE Development Kit. Let's get right into it. Alright, so the very first thing that we are going to want to do is make sure that we do not already have Java SDK installed. In order to do that, we are going to press the Windows and the R key at the same time to bring up this run window and then type in CMD. Press OK and we will get this command prompt. In the command prompt, you are going to want to type in J Java C dash version. Doing this will make the command prompt check for Java C or the Java SDK. If we get this message right here, Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command, you will know that you do not have Java SDK installed. So go ahead and close that at that. Next, you're going to want to go down into the description of this video and find the link for the Java SDK. Go ahead and open that link and you should be brought to this page. Now the latest version as of this video is Java SE 14. So this is the one that we're gonna be working with. You can find earlier versions down here. So go ahead and click on Java JDK download. Once you get to here, you scroll down a little bit and you find your operating system. I am on Windows, so I'm gonna use the Windows 64 installer and click on this JDK 14.0.1 Windows 64 bin.exe and download that. You click I review and accept the, the terms and licensing and then you press download. Save file and it will download. After that's done downloading, you can go ahead and close out of your browser and get your download right here. Once you have your download, go ahead and double click on that. Click yes on the shields. And this right here will come up. So welcome to the installation wizard for Java SE Development Kit 14.0.1. Click next. You can change your destination right here. Click next again. And then you will get this right here where it is installing Java SDK. and it has been successfully installed. So we can go ahead and close this. Next, we are gonna wanna make sure that we have our command prompt set up. So in order to make sure that we have our command prompt set up to be able to run Java files, we are gonna want to find the path of our JDK or SDK. So in order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and open up our file explorer. We're going to want to path to our C drive for Windows, Program Files, Find Java, and then click on the JDK for Java Development Kit. Double click on that. Open up your bin folder. This is where all of your different Java files and the main Java is stored. You're going to want to click up here and copy that. So next, what we are going to want to do is go to our computer settings by right-clicking on the Start button at the bottom left of your screen. Click on Settings. We are going to want to go to System Settings. And then you can search Edit the System and Environment Variables. Go ahead and click on that. It should bring up this window right here. You want to make sure you're under the Advanced tab and click on Environment Variables. Under this, you are going to want to find your path. Click on Edit. And then right here, you are going to want to paste the path to your Java JDK bin file. Press OK. And then you can press OK again. One more time, press OK. And you can close out of your settings. And you can close out of your file explorer. So now we can make sure that we actually have our SDK or JDK installed. Press your Windows button and the R button once again at the same time. Go to CMD, press OK, and bring up your command prompts. So now whenever we type in Java C and version, it should tell us what version of Java C we have, which is the 14.0.1 that we installed earlier. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Anything from you is helpful. And if you're new, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.